Hey, Ron Mackey here, and today we're gonna to be talking about landing pages. Specifically, how to improve your landing pages so you're turning more viewers or eyeballs into customers. See, landing pages are very important in your online business, but if they're not optimized properly, then it's just for nothing. You are just spending money on stupid stuff because it's not converting those eyeballs, those viewers, those people that land on that page into customers. And today we're gonna to fix it, so let's start. First thing is, what is actually a landing page? Well, a landing page is a place where you're sending people to or you're driving traffic to that they land on it and that's the only thing. They're there for one thing and one thing only. And that thing can be different things. It can be to sign up for an email list, it can be to purchase a product, it could be to register for a webinar, but whatever it is, you wanna minimize the distractions of that landing page so that you get the result that you want. Now, you have to figure out what do you actually want in there and you gotta make it that one thing. A lot of my clients, they, they mess up by they have links to different places to get out of that landing page and that's not this the case. A landing page is there to isolate their attention so that they can only do one thing, what you want them to do. So now that we know what a landing page is, let's dive into ways that we can actually optimize a landing page so that you're seeing a return of investment or an ROI. The first thing is, does your landing page have a clear and concise headline? Now, you don't want something that's all over the place, a bunch of words that mean nothing. You want to hone in on what this headline is and what's the benefit that they are actually going to get if, once they land on that landing page. Too often, the, the headline for my clients are just all over the place, and you have to narrow it down. If you think it's good enough now, if it's a 10-word headline, make it eight. Make it seven, make it six. Try to get as small and compact as you can and pack a powerful punch in that headline and then you will do wonders right there in your landing page from just this one little thing. And then once they get past the headline, is your landing page actually clear and concise of what they are going to get once they get there? You don't want to send people to a landing page to opt in for a welcome series or something like that to get them on your list. And then when they get on that landing page, the message is all about card abandons. Or if you're talking about sending them to a financial market, let's say how to make money on the latest stocks in this downturn, well, then you don't want your landing page to be all about crypto. It's not concise. It's not congruent for what you send it to. So that needs to be the key. Your visitors, when they land on that page, should know exactly what they're getting from the headline and then the body copy in that landing page. The second thing is, does it have a strong call to action? Is your landing page call to action compelling enough to, for them to actually do the action you want them to do? If not, then you need to tweak it. You need to do different things. So an example of this is a call to action to sign up for your newsletter or to sign up for your PDF or to sign up for your lead magnet or to actually buy your product, whatever it is. Is that call to action good enough, clear enough, concise enough? Because if it's not, that is where you are just messing up your landing page. And again, you're throwing money away because you're not concise enough. If you think you are concise enough, then what I would suggest is to actually go to Hemingway, take all of your uh, text, put it in there, and where can you improve it? Where can you simplify it? Because a lot of the times people are writing on a, a 10th or 11th grade level when really you want to be on the 5th or 6th grade. That's a 4, but anyways, I'm going to keep it in there. 6th grade level so that they can understand what you are writing about. You want to simplify, concise, and then a Better term, dumb it down for people that are actually landing on your landing page so they don't have to think. You don't want them to think because if they think, then they're not going to do the action. You want everything to be seamless and everything so that your call to action, they complete it. And then the third thing is actually, is your landing page, does it look good? See, we're in a day and age where people can detect BS from a mile away. And if you send to a landing page that looks crappy, their immediate thought is going to be like, oh, this is spam. This is a, a scam. We don't want this. And then they'll immediately leave. So is it visually appealing? Do you have, a like I, we talked about earlier, a compelling headline that they want to click on? Do you have pictures? Do you have testimonials? Do you have video? Does the color scheme match? You need to dial this in because the moment they detect that it looks nasty or this may be a scam, they're going to leave. You cannot do that. So make it look good. If you need help, you can go to Fiverr. You can go to Upwork. You can actually go to AI, chat GPT-4, actually, and type in the prompt make a good landing page and it will spit out the raw code that you just copy and paste and put it in there. There are ways to make it look good. It's your job to figure it out. And here's a bonus tip. You actually have to uh, optimize your landing page for cell phones. A lot of people now on the internet get their information from a cell phone. So what point is it and what good is it to actually optimize your landing page for a desktop 
when everybody is on their phones. You need to go through, take your landing page, send it to your phone and go through on your phone and see what looks good, what looks bad. What do I need to adjust? What needs to be fixed? And that is what you have to do. Mobile is everything. And if you're fighting that battle, if you're one of those old heads that don't want to deal with mobile, you're going to be left behind because everyone is on their phone and everyone is on the internet through their phone. And I said that was a bonus. Here's bonus number two. You've got to dive into the data. Google Analytics, who is coming to your site? Where are they coming from? Is whatever you're sending them from, let's say you're running paid ads from Facebook or you're running a YouTube video like this and your call to action is to get on my email list. Well, is there a congruency? Is that call still being translated on the landing page? Because if I'm trying to send people to get five extra pounds of pure muscle and then I send them to a landing page that's talking about losing weight, well, that congruency is not working. They have to, whatever they click to has to be the same thing you sent them from. I know that sounds confusing, but think about it for a second. Your call to action to get them on the landing page has to match what they see on the landing page. And a lot of the times that doesn't happen because of Google Analytics. You're not diving into the data. Another thing you can do is when they land on their landing page, where are they stopping? I, I suggest implementing Hotjar, see what they're looking at, see where they're stopping, optimize there, and you will see your conversions grow. And hey, if you like this video, hit that subscribe button down below. And you may also like this one right here.